Hey guys, Professor Bell, Comic Book University and Swashbucklers, the saga continues. Okay, this comic book was pretty cool. Um, obviously, I never saw the original comic book, the original series for Swashbucklers, but, you know, this one's interesting. It's just kind of hard to really follow along with characters who you don't like. The only character I like is this uh, this original guy who's just floating around in space. He's sailing around in space. It's kind of like Star Jammers from uh, Dungeons and Dragons. But this dude and this little brain box dude thing, whatever, I don't know. They're like the only crew of this big ship, which is weird. And they're just going around scavenging. And they come across this woman who's half human. And she was the captain of this uh, the ship prior and she uh, she gets reformed somehow because this colonizer beacon apparently gave her powers and her first mate is also um he's not resurrected but he he didn't actually die he's just kind of floating in space somehow uh, this is weird that people can breathe in space and survive without a spacesuit in space and it kind of protect like this is a weird kind of space i'm just saying it's a very friendly space that's all i'm gonna say anyway <laughs> so uh, they're going around and they're just finding different various members of their crew and they're literally beating the crap out of this poor guy, choking him, raising, you know, raising him up by the neck, by the throat, feet dangling in the air multiple times and threatening to kill him and eating all of his food and everything. This poor guy who made the mistake of rescuing these people. Now, mind you, he was actually there to try and scavenge, uh, and you know, it's like, oh, here's dead bodies. Let's see if there's something cool that I can, you know, get off of these guys. Okay, it sucks and all, but I mean, when push comes to shove, like naked woman looks like she may, may be alive, maybe dead in the middle of the uh, uh, in the middle of space, and he's thinking, let me try and rescue her. So he's not he's, he's not a bad guy for wanting to scavenge, you know what I'm saying? And we don't know if he was going to put away the bodies or something like that. Either way, this poor guy, man, he's just. He, I feel so bad for this guy, and I can't look. I know these other people are pirates; they're all technically pirates. But, uh, yeah, I can't see these people as good people at all, whether they are or not. Uh, in my opinion, they're bad regardless. <laughs> you know, just horrible the way they're treating this dude. So if I'm going to read the next issue, I'm really hoping I'm going to see that they're like, you know, being cool to this poor cat. Because, yeah, no, no, unacceptable. Anyway, um, the comic book in and of itself, I'm going to have to give it a C plus. I, I don't really understand what's going on. I don't know who was supposed to be the good guys, who was supposed to be the bad guys. Seems to me like everybody here is the bad guy, for the most part, except for this poor dude. Um, but it seems like they're supposed to be the good guys. They just don't act like it. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that's the allure of this, that nobody's good. <laughs> you know, maybe we'll see this, uh, this pirate guy. We'll find out that he's actually a child murderer or something. I don't know. Anyway, uh, Mark Guggenheim wrote this, and uh, Andrea Muti drew this uh colors chris sotomayor that explains why the colors are so vibrant so gorgeous um and uh taylor esposito on letters now originally this was created by bill matlow and jackson juice uh so that's actually what really drew me to this comic book is that bill matlow i mean like i i like guggenheim i like what he's doing next man gold i know a lot of people don't eh. My opinion is different than yours then. Uh, either way, I like what he's doing in gold. And, um, you know, I, I was kind of hoping it was going to be good here, but I mostly got this because these are characters who were created by Bill Mantlo and, you know, Jackson Juice. No, no disrespect, but Mantlo, like, man, this is the guy who created uh, Rocket Raccoon, the guy who created Cloak and Dagger, and a bunch of others. And just, you know, like his, his time on ROM is legendary legendary and he really did a lot more to create rum than hasbro or mattel or whatever did because yeah that toy didn't sell but that comic book did so either way um yeah i'm not i don't know i, I maybe i gotta go back and try and read the original because this is weird this is really strange to me but um like i said i'm willing to give it a couple of issues of a chance Anyway, all that being what it is, Professor Bell, Comic Book University, class dismissed.